How's it going guys, Slippy Jim here, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. In the last episode we uh, opened a magic chest that uh, teleported us unexpectedly to this crazy place called the Crow's Wood and uh, populated by talking crows and a witch. Uh, we're going to have to defeat the witch right now. Uh, we died a lot in the last episode because I am quite, oh hello there, I am quite underpowered for this location. I think it's like level 5 or 6. Um, enemies that I'm fighting here is a level 4 um, Dragon Knight Maybe this guy can help us take out the witch I love how you can just walk through people like that It's probably bad manners or something But uh, yeah, Sejuxen Let's do it buddy You practicing your swings? There's nothing up there, trust me I had a look There's just a boulder He's going to drop down any second here So let's go down and wait for him um, because I think I need some backup take out this uh, this witch and he's like a level what, 15 or something so hopefully that means the witch is not going to be a level 15 witch but level 5 ooh I like that Let's get me some of that get back on the ground Sometimes I found the, uh, uh, oh, oh no, damn it, let's come back, come on, give me a shot at her, I'm frozen or something, oh there she goes, what has she got on a three gold, well we did it, good work Sagjul Sagjulson, Took her out nicely for me. So what do we got here? Some bread, which is always good. I should probably stick some of this stuff on my uh, cup. Could probably sell that or something. I don't know if there's anything else of value down here. Drippings, a bed. What the heck? Father of Nibben, Fragment 1. That doesn't seem to do anything for me. I would have thought there'd be some sort of reward here, but I guess we got to turn it in first to get that. So let's head back up here. Um, I should actually add some food or something to my um, to my quick bar. Let's quick bar that. Quick bar. Okay, I don't know if that that worked or not. I'd I want to keep up with that dude so um, so we can team up when we fight enemies. Head him back to wherever it is we have to go next to talk to talk to Tal Talbaril. We're fighting some ghosts over here. So I can't loot that apparently. Ooh, another another glyph. That's pretty cool. So where do we go for this? Uh, we gotta head back. Why are they heading down here? Is there something cool down here? Let's just check it out. Let's uh, see what's down here. There might even be a soul shard or soul wraith. I don't really fancy the look of those guys. Okay, this is the place with all the wolves. Puncture can now be morphed. Interesting. Let's just check that out. Uh, puncture. So we can now morph this if we get a skill point. That's pretty nice. Okay, this looks like the same area we are in before though. 
that's just a big. Is that a shortcut down there? I guess it is. Good to know. I think we might even be able to fish over here. Look at that. See, see how that's flashing there? Oh, we can collect water or something off that. Interesting. I've got so much to learn about this game. Okay, jump. Alright, let's turn this in. Welcome, my friend. We were just talking about you. I see your father found you. Yes, he did. And he told me a most peculiar tale. I owe you for getting him out of this mess. Take these coins. It's the least I can do. Sweet, 116 gold. Awesome. So I'm level 5 now. That's cool. I solved the mystery of Crow's Wood. <laughs> Let's spend some of our skill points and everything. So I've got an attribute, attribute point here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to want to put that into health. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we can morph this skill here now to... Let's see. Select an ability that you wish to morph Puncture 4 into. Ransack deals 27 physical damage. Reduces target's armor by 40%. Increases player armor by 45 Taunts target for 15 seconds. Increases your armor by amount reduced. Increases your armor by amount reduced. 40% 40 is that what is that what that means? And this one does reduces also reduces spell resistance. I don't get that. Um, I think we might want to spend it on something else though. What's this one? Fortress? Reduces cost of blocking and reduces one hand and shield cost of... Okay, yeah. Bow. We have... Volley. Repeatedly fire arrows at target location for 3 seconds, dealing 3 physical damage every 0.5 seconds to two enemies in area of effect. That sounds pretty good. Um, undaunted. We have Blood Altar. Increases health recovery of nearby allies. Yeah. Imperial skills. Increases max health by 4%. Increases experience gain with one-handed and shield skill line by 15. I've already got that one. Um, soul magic deals 25 damage over 10 seconds and fills soul jam if enemy dies while affected. What do we got here? We've got molten weapons. We saw that one before. Draconic power. There was one that I hadn't selected anything. This one here. I might do that one just so I can start leveling up the ardent flame one. So that gives us uh, fiery grip. We can try that one out as well. Cool. All right. Well, let's head back to Davin's watch, I guess. Was there anything else here that I haven't explored? Them. I wonder if there might be a uh, soul shard in this location somewhere. Wasn't there a? There's an island over on this side somewhere. That seems like a likely place. Unless that was where the shack was. That might just be where the shack was. That we saw. So yeah, we've probably checked most things out here. We can always come back if we find that there's a soul shard here somewhere. Alright, let's go back to Stone Falls.
Okay. So, was there anything else in this? Looks like an abandoned mine shaft or something. There you are. Do not panic. What? Only you can see me. Come. We have to talk. This guy keeps popping up all the time. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Hello. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Where is this safe harbor? I woke to choking ash in the air and the sounds of strife. I am in Morrowind, home of the Dark Elves, in a city called Devin's Watch. The harborage is a ruin in the cliffs west of the city. I'll find you there. So, we're, we're pretty much at Devon's Watch now. Um, so he said the harborage west of the city. So what, that would be over here somewhere? Find the harborage, we must have to go out there. Um, dark. Well, I might leave that though for the time being because there's actually uh, another mission that I wanted to do prior to us heading to that place with all the crows. And um, for that we need to take a boat, but there should be someone down here that we speak to for this. Let's check out this boat. This looks like a pretty cool place. Anyone down here? Some beds. So, okay, let's go look up top. Because it doesn't look like anyone's down here in the hold. Hello. Hello. Got some lizards. The last emperor. Oh, there's some more noon root. Grab me some of that. What about on this boat? Maybe I didn't select this quest yet? Is there someone in here? Let's take a look. It's empty. Lockpicks. Cool. Hmm, alright. I think I must, mustn't have activated this quest yet. I thought I had by talking to the Prophet right at, at the start when we uh, found ourselves in Tamriel. Let me just have a look at my quests here. Uh, into the ruins, find the harborage, find Merrick in Aelif. There's got to be someone, someone that I speak to to unlock this. Um, let's just check this, this hole out here. What's in here? Got some rats. There was like a, a tavern or something up here. Come again. Right. Seek her glory. Who 
tomorrow will be better. Is it tomorrow yet? Okay. Um. Branton. Hector the fish. Can't you see I'm eating? You young scamps always come to Felvin for advice when I'm in the middle of something. Tell you what, buy me a drink and I'll give you a tip on making the best use of a blade. Okay, what kind of drink do you want? Just give me the money. This one's on me. Yes. Ah, there we are. As for that advice, never trust strangers. <laughs> Seriously, I owe you one. I'll see you around, I'm sure. Ah, okay, so just he owes me one. Good to know. Look at that guy's drunk. Um Yeah, alright, let's head back up to Davin's watch then. Uh We might need to speak to the prophet again. Guess I could uh, call my horse. What the hell? There we go. That was weird. So, um, I didn't really get anything particularly new in terms of weapons and armor from those missions that we did at, um, at that last place, so... <laughs> What the hell? That looks weird. That horse is just like... Look at that horse! <laughs> oh my god, that is creepy. So, let's take a look here. I'm not sure who to speak to for this. But if we just go to the these little markers, maybe... Let's just have a look around. There's one out here. I, I think this guy is the... The Thieves Guild dude. Honor to you, traveler. Name's Naril. I'm guessing you're new in town and need some work. It's a bit of luck we met because I need some help in a business deal. What do you have in mind? You may have heard Stonefalls is under attack. This makes some things very lucrative. Take wine. If I had a particular bottle, there's a party who'd pay well for it. Are you asking me to steal some wine? Please. Procure. There's a bottle of Tears of Amaya hoarded by a Nord tavern keeper here. I offered to buy, but he won't sell. Frankly, he'll never drink it, so he'd never know if it was replaced by a copy. Hmm. I don't usually like the Thieves' skill because there's a lot of sneaking around and stuff like that, but, um... What the hell, we'll do it. I knew you were game. Can you tell me more about this tavern? It's the fish thing, down by the docks. A brute named Hector runs it. That's where we came from. He's unreasonable about his precious bottle. You can't just smooth talk it away from him. How do we take it then? With cleverness. Swap that bottle out when he's not looking. He probably can't tell the difference between good wine and swill. Alright, I'll work something I out. I knew you were game. So we've got to swap out, swap out the bottle. Ask bar patrons about distracting the bartender. All right. So where do we, we came from? We came from down there. So we have to go back there. Um, let's see. Down here. Oh, that's weird that it gives you hints. That kind of makes it a bit too easy. Hell. So we got to ask one of these people. What brings you to this stinkhole? Just looking for a drink. The bartender looks like quite a character. 
He's a blowhard, and he hates bad singing. When Valen gets soused on alto wine and starts belting out verses, look out. Valen, okay. Which one's Valen? You know I like when Valen sings. Valen. Ranton. Okay, that's failing. Now we just have to work out where this bottle of wine is so we can steal it when we when he's distracted. Bottle. That's it there, okay. So we'll get this dude to uh, start singing. Tomorrow will be better. Is it tomorrow yet? What's your story, Valen? My story? My wife returned from the war, but she brought the fight back with her. Vivek knows I tried to help her get over it, but I couldn't live with what she'd become. I left. I'm sorry to hear that. Might as well be dead. Or maybe I should be drunk. That's close enough. How do we get him to sing? Why don't you grab a drink and join us? Do you know Hector well? Hector? <laughs> He's a crusty one. That makes it even funnier when you get under his skin. For a good crank, grab a wharf rat and toss it in here. Then watch him go. Um, grab a wharf rat. What? This Altmer alchemist Ruvatar steals wisdom. Oh, here's one over here. History. Why am I in third person? Hello there. Uh, all right, we gotta throw it or something. Um, use use court war fret. Steal. Damn rats! I hate them. Okay. We got the wine! Yes! Success! I hate those type of, uh, those missions, but that one was okay, actually. Hell. So let's go take that back, and we should get some gold back, hopefully to make up for that gold we gave to the dude. Who was supposed to teach us some skills with the sword. Um, where do we take this? Over here. I was able to do get I the wine. The bouquet of tears of Amaya. You do indeed. Ah, it's good to make new business acquaintances. Remember Naril Helleron, my friend. We may see each other again. So we get a signet wearing. That's pretty sweet. Let's uh. Let's put that on, so that'll give us some more stamina, max stamina. Awesome. Um, let's go see if we can start learning some traits off these by um, taking them to the blacksmiths. How much gold have I got now? 469. We've nearly got enough, I think, for another backpack slot. Um, this, this was the Fighters Guild, wasn't it? I don't think I checked this out yet, did I? Oh yeah, I did. There was a dude. That's a very shiny pillow right there. Um, there was a dude down here practicing... He wasn't very friendly at the time I spoke to him. There's more to battle than strength and physical training. Knowledge is also power. What can I teach you today? What do you know about Holgen? Holgen? He's as nord as they come. A raging blizzard in the middle of summer, Holgen is. He served in the Akaviri War. Fighting alongside Tanvil, the Grand Master of House Indoran. How did a Nord and a Dark Elf become friends? 
So she's not going to say this. Don't seem Don't very seem compatible. Very compatible like, do they? Hurry up! Who's say your lines. Dark elf and a loud, boisterous Nord. But they've become brothers in blood. They'll do whatever it takes to save the Ebonheart Pact. Is there anything the guild knows that isn't in the public record? Holgen's unit was ambushed by the snakes. Cut off. The Grand Master's mages were nearby and rushed to the rescue. Holgen and Tanvald were the only survivors. They fought back to back and took the snakes down. Interesting, but not really what I wanted to know. Let's see if she knows anything. Greetings. Are you here to learn our secret techniques? I must warn you, if you're a spy from the Mages Guild, I'll have to cut your head off. So she sells weapons. Good to know. I can even buy one of them. This one is a, a damage 20 what? I want that so bad. Uh, I can actually afford that as well. Let's see if we can sell some stuff as well. So I'll sell Sentinel's Lash. Damage 11, damage 15. Hmm. I'll just... That's one-handed. What else has she got? Oh, she's got some shields as well. My cast-off shield is pretty much had it. 33, 37. Increases armor. Oh, I kind of want a better sword, but I need the shield more. That gives me 37. I might get the sword because it's nearly twice as much damage. So I'll buy that. Which leaves me with 19 gold. I think these bookcases... Let's see, where's my crosshairs gone? Okay, that's just a play or something. Let's go back out into Davin's Watch. And I'll try and find the blacksmiths. Am I now there? Fighters Guild. That's where I want to go. Straight down. Okay, let's see if we can um, <coughs> research some stuff here. Great sword. One available. Okay, so we have increased weapon skill on experience with this weapon type. And we have <coughs> increased armor and spell, increases armor and spell printed. Penetration. What do we have over here? Nothing. So, let's go back to those. So, this is a great sword, and this is just my regular sword. Which sword is that, though? Training. Okay, we'll go with this. Armor and spell penetration increase. Iron Great Sword of Frost. Uh, researchable. Research straight. There we go. Six hours left on that one. <laughs> cool. <coughs> Have I got enough iron here to craft stuff? Let me just see. Creation. Material 3 of 9 iron. What can I deconstruct? One handed. I'll deconstruct this. No usable items found. Oh, that's just great. Uh. Okay, I want to repair some stuff as well, but I don't know if I've got enough gold left. Let's see. No one keeps their forges hot as a varney. 
You'll have to journey to the heart of Ash Mountain to find a fire this strong. You're welcome to work, if you think you can handle it. Repair. Uh, 79%. This is what I want to repair here, but it's going to cost 53 gold. So I might have to sell some stuff. Um, let's see. Sentinel's Lash. Eleven, fifteen. I'll sell that. that Give me nineteen. Um, sell that. Twenty-nine. Sell that. I want to keep that. So that gives me forty, and I needed. 53 uh, 32 46 uh, what else can I sell let's have a look here value 10 of those Five of those. I've got some glyphs here as well. That's really cool. Um, 20. Okay, we should have enough now. 66. Fair that. Alright. Let's just take a look. I don't know if this is the place where I can improve. Let's see. Yeah, I think I need to find like the enchanting area. Where would that be? This was the clothing. Creation. One available. Have I finished that one I was doing already? Zero of one. So that's... They're my breaches though. I kind of need those. And that is... Increases items armor. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice these. Let me just check what I've got here. Five fell hide. One and ten. I think I sold all of those. So we can't make anything with that. Um, but. I want to check out where, where am I right now, here somewhere, this is where I want to go here, around the path, uh, we might be able to enchant, put one of those glyphs on, uh, onto my weaponry, what's this in here, wine grapes, let's see, okay, what do we got over here, this is alchemy, Ah, we can actually make something, which is pretty cool. I think we can make something. Let's see, creation. Two Nern root solvent. Reagents. Makes a level 3 potion. Makes a level 10 potion. Let's go with that. Ok, 
Okay, it's going to make me put both of those in there for some reason. And... We might need something else as well though, that's probably not enough. Reagents, solvent. Yeah, we need another reagent to make to make some sort of potion. We need more than one. So um there should be an enchanting place around here somewhere. Woodworking. See if we can uh, research something here. Um, so that was the blacksmith. That was the clothing station. Where is the enchanting one? There is an enchanting station here somewhere. <laughs> Was this it here? <laughs> That's alchemy. Okay, it's got to be here somewhere. That's the singing shards. Greetings. Feels like I've been at this forever. Woodworks. That's the clothing station, that's not the enchanting. Must have already got that. Um, blacksmith. What's back here? Interesting. <laughs> oh, we can get some uh, wood off this. Sweet. All these people, these these other people out here, obviously didn't find that. What was this one over here? Woodworks. Uh, so now that I've got that wood, let's see how much wood I got off that. I can make some stuff, maybe. Creation. Three of nine. I need to find a little bit more. So that was... Uh, why can I not find the enchanting one? So much to do. What's over here? Uh, this might be... Arcane Emporium. Fine goods, hide bags. I should equip my other sword as well. Doesn't look. Oh yeah, there we go. Trouble of our own. Nice. Hello. Ah. Oh, don't frighten an old man like that. I didn't mean to scare you. Didn't think you were still breathing when they dragged you out of the drink. Ah, this is what Here I wanted. Here you are, plain as day. You owe a lot to the crew from Bleak Rock. A shame they didn't find anyone willing to help. Help with what? Someone named Rana needs aid on Bleak Rock. She asked for volunteers, but we've got our own problems in Davon's watch. No one signed up. Her boss and Liesel is down by the docks if you want to ask her about it. 
Or you can stay here. Either choice means danger. I'll talk to Lizzle. Okay, that's the mission I wanted to get. So we can head to Bleak Rock. But before we do that, I do want to find this goddamn enchanting station. It's got to be one of these. Uh, let's take a look at the map again. So, enchanting station is that thing with the three things. Sort of like that, but a little bit different. It's not that one. Set your devotions to the three today. Could it be up here somewhere? That's not it. I wasn't back here. There's no banner. Wow, I just can't believe it. Oh, is that it over there? Hello. This place looks like a pub, though. Yeah, this is a one I want. Hello. So she buys stuff as well. Um. I could get rid of my crappy sword. Sell that to her. Um, 20. That's 41%. Need to repair some of this stuff. Repair those since that's pretty much all I can afford to do. And let's use the enchanting station. So, I thought I had some runes. Oh my, that's pleasant. Okay. All of the glyphs in your character's inventory that are available for extraction will be displayed here. To extract components and inspiration from glyphs in your inventory, double click the glyph and then press R. Okay. Um, 1 and 10. Increase your power by 3 for 5 seconds. Reduce stamina. Cost of abilities by 3. Extract. Extract. Okay, so now I have these. This is interesting. Essence rune enchanting. Requires potency improvement. Rune phrase. Okay, so it looks like I need a third one for that. This is something I'm not familiar with at all. So, we probably have to collect some more of those and play around with them a little bit. Enchanting made easy. Let's see if there's anything else up here. Nice. That's empty. Light armor increased. It's got some... Weird looking dance thing in that one. Okay, we'll head back out to David's Watch. So this time, guys, uh, I have got the mission that I was trying to get uh, to head off to um, the island. So we'll be doing that for sure in the next episode, guys. And uh, let's head down to the docks right now. And uh, that's where we'll kick off the next episode once we get down there. Yeah, the audio is a bit glitchy in this at the moment. Okay, where's the person we have to speak to? Talk to Lizzle. Over there.
right, guys, this is where we will leave it for today. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the next episode, and uh, we'll be heading across the water, hopefully, to the islands to uh, do a bit more adventuring. So it uh, should be good. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.